Yeah, well, Mike, the rain here has been constant throughout the day here today. Our crews got here at around 11 o'clock this morning and the rain has not stopped. I will say right now we're luckily in a little bit of a low spell of that, just a little bit of a drizzle, but it has been heavy on and off for hours here. In the last hour or so since we last checked in, another thing that's picked up is that wind. You may see this massive pine tree behind me and you may think, hey, maybe that wind knocked that over. I actually don't think that's the case. I think this was caused by that heavy rain, by this flooding. If we walk further, first of all, you can see the sheer size of this tree that has fallen over. But if we take a look to my other side here, you can see these uh, flood waters coming down. This is coming down from what we believe is a farm on the other side of this road and they are rushing down rapidly. That's where you can see it uprooted that tree there. If we move further down my side, you can see the sheer damage caused by this flooding water. You can see this is Harmony Church Road. Harmony Church Road, again, in Tattnall County. This entire side of the road has completely been wiped away by these flood waters. You can see just how fast they're moving here through this road. Obviously, this is something that is not supposed to be happening. If you take a look a little bit further past that road, you can see that's where the water is supposed to be flowing smoothly through and under to the other side of this road. Clearly, that's not what's happening here today. You can see again this massive part of the uh, Harmony Church Road, this massive chunk here taken out. This is part of uh, something that we've seen. This is some of the worst damage we've seen here in Tattnall County today. But this flooding is almost everywhere in the county. We've driven through the county for hours. Again, taking a look at this massive tree here. We've driven through this county for hours, and that's the same story everywhere. These floodwaters are in so many people's yards, covering so many roads. We just checked with uh, Tattnall County EMA. They say right now there are at least 22 roads that are closed, just like this one, because mainly of flooding. Uh, so we will continue to keep you updated throughout the next hour or so on these conditions here. I do want to send it back to you all in the studio, but we will be keeping you updated here from Tattnall County.